Hello friends and how are you all doing today? My name is Priyanka and let us discuss the given question. It says in the adjoining figure, firstly, is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2? Now, let us read one of the parts and answer it simultaneously. Before proceeding on with the solution for the first part, we should be well versed with what adjacent angles are all about. We know that adjacent angles have a common vertex, a common arm, but no common interior points. That means the non-common arms are on the either side of the common arm. Now here, angle 1 and angle 2 have a common vertex that is O, a common arm that is OC, and the non-common arms that is OA and O. E lie on the either side of the common arm. Right. So, this is fulfilling all the three conditions. So, that means answer to the first part is yes. Now, let us read and understand the second part. It says, is angle AOC. AOC. That means we are talking about angle 1 again. Adjacent to angle AOE, that is AOE, the sum of 1 and 2. Now, here we can see that both of the angles given to us have a common vertex, that is O, a common arm, that is OA, but the non-common arms, that is OC and OE, does not lie on the either side of the common arm. They lie on the same side of the common arm, that is on the right hand side of the common arm. So that means the answer to this part is no. Now let us proceed with the third part. Now it says do angle COE. C O E that means it is the second angle that we are talking about angle 2 and E O D E O D that means the sum of third and fourth form a linear pair now forming a linear pair means a pair of adjacent angles whose non common sides are opposite rays now here we can see that 2 and the sum of 3 and 4 are the adjacent angle as they have a common vertex, a common arm that is OE and the non-common arms that is OC and OD lie on the either side of the common arm. So that means they are a pair of adjacent angle and one more condition should be fulfilled for forming a linear pair that is the non-common arms that is OC and OD are opposite rays and it's true over here. So here the answer will be yes again. Now let's discuss the fourth part. We are given R angle BOD. BOD that means angle 4 and DOA. DOA. That means angle 5. Supplementary. That means sum should be equal to 180 degrees. Now, here we can see that on adding 5 and 4, we get a linear pair. That is, they are such a pair of adjacent angle whose non-common sides are opposite ray. And we know that if two angles are forming a linear pair then their sum are equal to 90 degrees sorry 180 degrees so this means that BOD is equal to 180 degrees so the answer is yes again let me highlight the answers for you now let's proceed with the fifth part it says is angle 1 vertically opposite to angle 4 now, two angles are vertically opposite angles when two lines intersect. 
and they are equal to each other also. Now if we see angle 1 and angle 4 are formed when the lines AB and CD are intersecting each other. They are on the opposite side so therefore angle 1 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angles and their measure will be equal to each other also. So here also the answer to this part will be yes again. Now let's proceed to the last and final part that is the sixth part. Here what is the vertically opposite angle of angle 5? This angle. Now if these two lines intersect then this angle will be equal to this angle that is the sum of 2 and 3 and we can name this angle as COB. So here the answer will be angle COB. So this is the answer to the sixth and final part. So hope you understood the solution well, enjoyed listening to it also and have a nice day.